the new acceleration of travel tends to push uh, the metropolitan membrane or stretch it right around the planet. The herb orbs. So that in effect, if not in theory, there really is only one city on the planet. The planet itself. You do away with the ancient rhythms of day and night. Every time you flick on an electric light, you reshape the space all around you. New figures appear. New connections are made. A new world arises out of the old. kinds of power and energy now available, it is possible to create environments anywhere overnight, just like laying on electric lighting. These are environments that alter all human affairs and all human relationships in any part of the world. Do you still recall the mystery of the dark. Can you still follow the light of the moon? Electric media obsolesces the visual, the connected, the logical, the rational. What the child encounters in the present school is a carefully uh, bureaucratized uh, ar arrangement of seats, uh, class schedules, and uh, subject matters all separate, separated from one another. They are subjected to a curriculum in, of classified information, which they are expected to record, memorize, regurgitate in classified patterns. He comes in to that classroom from a prolonged experience of integral participation in a highly organized global situation. Attention shoppers, attention shoppers. Don't miss the lunchtime specials today in the food court. Tasty treats from every corner of the globe. The normal ways fade before the new. You shape your tools, and they shape you. What we have done in our time with electrical technology is to put our nervous system outside ourselves. When you extend uh, by technology your own inner ner central nervous system, can you put your nervous system outside? We put the nervous system outside and we put it around ourselves globally. We stuff our physical being inside the nervous system. This means that every private operator can own a hunk of your central nervous system. 
as if it were a wheel, a box, or a piece of land. And he can stand on your nose, your eyes, your nerves. He can exploit and move every part of your inner being by these external means. No Elizabethan had any such resources. This is a totally new information environment of which humanity has never had any experience or whatever. We now, you see, have a media that stress all the senses and we have no education to cope with this, uh, the, the media talk. He was a, a literary man, primarily. His interest in communications was secondary. Once he got involved with the communications, he got fascinated by it. It was like the tentacles spreading out in all directions. And he saw the interrelationship of everything. He made the Understanding Media Group. He had uh, representatives from the different disciplines. He was interested in other disciplines. Now that kind of thing has become terribly fashionable now, but it wasn't fashionable then. We met uh, most days in the museum cafeteria. People would be there and uh, a phrase would come out and boom, it would be taken and seized by everyone. Nobody took anybody else's ideas. We just took every idea and, and used them, misused them, played with them. Pretty much the way the surrealists would do in art. McLuhan was the absolute center of, of, of a group of people doing that. All of it really crystallizes in seven or eight issues of explorations that McLuhan and his friend, the anthropologist Ted Carpenter, put out. He's writing about uh, Linus Pauling in chemistry and Werner Heisenberg in physics and Cervantes and jazz uh, music, Jay Z Young in biology, Panofsky in art history about Walter Long, and quoting every scholarly book on every subject. In those articles, he finally, I think, articulates fully that all technologies are languages. Language itself is the supreme technology that, is, that almost gives you the entree to all the other disciplines and languages and, and technologies. The people in those disciplines thought he was playing fast and loose because he had no credentials in any of those areas. Any specialist is going to uh, see to it that his specialty is protected against any invasion from any quarter. <laughs> They've got a very good thing. They've taken a long time to acquire this specialist skill, and they don't see why they should uh, yield one inch to uh, people with different methods. 